Hi, it's Tony again from Paranormal Investigation UK. Uh, today we're actually going to review a small piece of uh, footage that, uh, that's been sent in. Uh, this is actually from somebody there that I know. Um, it's about it's 56 seconds long. I've had a quick review of it. Um, and the basis around this is that this is a house which is suggestive of some sort of phenomenon that may, may or may not be occurring. Um, you need to be careful. Um, you know, it's easy to look and start pointing your fingers at something being paranormal when, when it may not be. Um, so we're all going to look at two aspects of this uh, particular footage. One is the video itself um, and the other is the audio. So firstly what we're going to do, we're not going to take much notice of the actual uh, audio for the moment uh, we'll look at the actual video first if there's anything there uh, and then we'll come back to the audio separately um i've got an eq lined up here mainly because i'm going to use it to increase the volume um the it's been done on a mobile phone and um, so it may we may need to lift the volume up and if necessary if we do find anything it's within the audio any anomaly then we can uh, start to EQ that and enhance it if we need to uh, a straightforward uh, spectrum analyzer on the right hand side um, so let's get straight into this one see what we can find the situation is with this it's um, I think it's a living room area um, this doggy here uh, is reacting to something that cannot be seen so the great mystery with dogs, people often wrongly believe that animals, dogs in particular, can see things that we can't. <clears throat> That's in fact not true. Um, I've always believed cats and dogs are able to hear things that we can't because the human can listen to between 20 and 20,000 hertz. A, some breeds of dogs can go up to 60,000 hertz. It all hinges on the age of the, the dog uh, as you get older. Even the human, um, as you get older, the frequency begins to diminish. So if you've got, for example, a sound within 30 to 40,000 hertz, a human simply cannot hear it, irrespective of how loud that is. But a dog or, or cat certainly can do, and that's that where I believe that where animals react to certain phenomena, uh, not necessarily on something that they can see. Um, some cats can process some degree of uh, uh, some say infrared is more likely to be ultraviolet light uh, which allows the, the, the cat to see in the dark um, that's where the ultraviolet comes into play not necessarily they can see things that we can't um, so in normal daylight as what's in this house here shouldn't be an issue so if the dog's going to react to anything it will be a sound um, we are able to record and analyse any frequency that we cannot hear anyway. Uh, we, we might not be able to hear it, but we'll be able to see it. The reason why I'm using this spectrum analyzer. So let's get into this one. Let's have a look at the um, video first. Don't know much about dogs. In fact, I'll turn the volume down for a moment. Um, let's see what the dog's doing. That light there. That is certainly dust. Um, the infrared just lights it up, even on the mobile phone. Which won't be infrared, obviously, just the light of the phone. It's got a light reflection there, so we know that there's light being emitted, and that's what makes that uh, dust look a lot bigger. What it is. Um, dogs moving. Taking an interest, I presume there's a door around there. I'm a little bit confused. Seems to be focused. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, it seems to just react as if 
you imagine now that something's if somebody moves towards the dog you'd expect it just to back up slightly with its head which is what it does just look carefully there books up then its head backs slightly I'd look at that again looks up and back huh, okay um Right, let's, let's go back to it, um, and we'll go, we'll, I'm going to actually turn the, the volume up here, I'll keep it normal, let's see what the dog, so I, I couldn't see anything up to the point at the end, so that's where it was, let's focus on that part there. I think there's some light movement. Difficult to tell. Hmm. Okay. Um, I am able to slow that down and uh, do something with the light at the same time uh, but that appears to just react to something towards the end which is interesting so right okay I've uh, got shut of the video now and we're going to concentrate on the audio the reason why I separate the two is that if you've got sound going on and watching the video at the same time yeah uh, you're sort of splitting your uh, your mind with that so just by looking at the, reviewing the video on its sort of entirety uh, with no sound you're concentrating on the video then vice versa we get rid of the video and we're now just concentrate on the actual sound i'm actually going to turn this up uh, i'm going to have a little, little bit of a run just to see how far i can go up with this volume before it starts increasing the the background uh, now is someone spiking there. So we're just lift, lifting the volume up so we can, although you can hear it a little bit now. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, just coming in now. So we'll back that back. And I'll go back to the beginning again. The files look. Cars that blip there. Not sure about that. I think someone, whoever's in the house there, um, he's heard something. Let's just loop that. And I wonder if that's a dog. It's just. Uh, Yeah, it's about 300 hertz. It's 
an unusual frequency. Get rid of some of the frequency we don't interest in. There. Just drop the volume down a little bit so we can see that frequency. Um, it's around 150 to 250 here, it's quite a tight frequency. Um, Not sure, really not sure with that one. Um, I'll put that back to flat. Uh, I'll just save that. to the rest of it again. Yeah, the same again there. Quite low volume though. Interesting. Okay, I'll, um, I'm not sure. It's possible that the dog itself made a, a growl, but it's, it's, it's not a dog frequency. I'll look into that one, that 150 to 250 hertz, just to see if I can get any pointers. Um, so, okay, well, that's of, uh, of interest. It's one of them that well, you haven't always got the answers to everything. Uh, the dog out of the two probably the interesting bit is actually seeing the dog reacting um, at the end uh, I found that quite intriguing how the dog looks up there then back to back so I don't know it's um, a bit more information from the, the household and uh, might find some answers Thank you.